Hello, everybody. In lesson 4.2 on page 177 of the second grade Goal Math textbook, we're going to be talking about a concept known as compensation. And the essential question that you need to be able to explain at the end of this lesson is how can you make an add in, a number that we add? So, how can you make an add in a 10 to help solve an addition problem? So, it's very similar to the idea that we used yesterday, okay? Because or in the last lesson, because when we add, if we have one of our add-ins is a 10, it, it can make adding easier. So we have two problems here that I'm going to give you, okay? So let's listen to the first one, and I want you to draw a quick picture, okay? Remember, straight lines are 10s, and circles or squares will represent singles or ones, okay? So here's the first problem. Kara has 47 stickers. She buys 20 more stickers. How many stickers does she have now? Okay, let me repeat the add-ins. She has 47 stickers. And she buys 20 more stickers. How many stickers does she have? You should pause the video, draw your quick picture, and see what your sum is. And then turn the video back on and check your answer. All right, so is this what you came up with? Okay, so we said she had 47. And she bought 20 more. Okay, and we're going to add those together, right? So we have 47 plus 20. Well, there aren't any ones in the 20, right? So we're going to have the same number of ones in our sum. So how many tens do we have? We have four, five, six, right? So we should have come up with 67. Okay. So you could have just added the tens. Okay, I have six tens and seven ones. You could have gone 47 and counted tens forward. Okay, we have two tens here, right? So 47, 57, 67. Okay, so there's a couple possibilities. All right, listen to the next problem. Okay, again, draw the quick picture for the problem I give you. Pause the video after I finish reading the problem and then check your answer. All right, here's the second part. Tyrone has 30 stickers and buys 52 more stickers. How many stickers does he have now? So again, he has 30 stickers and buys 52 more stickers. Go ahead and pause the video, draw your quick picture and see what sum you come up with. And then restart the video and check your answer. All right, so we know that he had 30 stickers. And he bought 52 more. So we have the math problem 30 plus 52. Well, again, we don't see any ones in the number 30. So those the ones aren't going to change. There's nothing to add to the ones. So I don't need to make a 10 on either one of those numbers, right? On either one of the add-ins. So how many tens do we have total? We have three here and we have five there. Five and three is eight. So we have eight tens and two ones, 82. Okay, we could have started at 52, the larger add-in, and counted three tens. 52, 62, 72, 82. Okay, all right. Well, let's look at page 178. So that's the two problems we practiced. They already had a 10, right? And so we just counted we just counted the 10s on that they gave us. But what if we have two add-ins that aren't a 10? Well, we're going to take ones from one of the add-ins to make the other add-in the next 10s number. So I could look at the 25 and say, oh, okay, how much do I have to add to 25? 
to make the next 10, which is 30. Or I can look at 48 and say, how many do I have to add to 48 to get the next 10, which is 50? Now, I typically would say add to the larger add-in, the one that's closer to the next 10. But it doesn't matter, okay? It's your choice. So that's what they did here, though. They took the 25, right? You see 20 and 5 ones. And we have 40 and 8. So they're saying, okay, let's add two ones from 25 and give it to the 48. So what does that leave us? Well, if we take two ones from here, that leaves us 23, right? And now instead of 40, we have 50 because this is a 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and we formed another 10. So 50, 60, 70, 3. And again, adding can be easier when one of the add-ins is a tens number. So that's what we're doing in this lesson. We're, we're taking one of the add-ins that is not a 10, taking the ones from the other add-in to make the other add-in a 10, and then add. Okay, so let's look at this one. 37 plus 25. Well, again, I would turn 37 into the closest, the next closest 10. So 37 is closer to 40 than 25 is to 30. But it doesn't matter which one you do. You could have turned 25 into 30. But let's look here. So let's look at our picture. We have 30 and 7 ones and plus 2 tens and 5 ones. Well, 7 plus 3 makes another 10, right? So we're going to take 3 ones from 25, give it to the 37. If we give that 3 ones to the 37, now we have 4 tens right? 7, 8, 9, 10 from here. So 10, 20, 30, 40. That's why we see 40 here. And what's left of the 25? Well, we still have two tens, but we only have two ones. So we have 40 plus 22. Well, 40, 50, 60 plus two ones, 62. All I did was count the, the tens, four, five, six, and we had two ones left, 62. 27 plus 46. Okay, which way do you think we should, or which way do you want, which, which add-in do you want to turn into a 10? 27, which the next 10 would be 30, or 46, which the next 10 would be 50. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go 27 and make it into the next 30, uh, next 10. So 7 plus 3. So I'm going to take these three tens from 46. I'm going to put them here. Okay, why am I doing that? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I have another 10. So 10, 20, 30. So what I did was change the 27 to 30, and what's left of 46? Well, I still have the four tens, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, and now I have three ones left because I gave three to the 27. Okay, well, now let's just count forward. We're at 43, 43, 53, 63, 73. All I did was add three tens to four tens. And we can count them here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tens is 70. And we have three ones, 73. 14 plus 29. Again, it doesn't matter which one you take the ones from to make the next 10. But 29, that's really close to the next 10. So I'm going to look at the 29. And I'm just going to take one of the ones from 14 to make another 10. So I'm changing the 29 to 30. And what do I have left from the 14? I have one 10 and three ones. So 30 plus one more 10 is 40, 41, 42, 43. Right? So we have one 10 
two, three, four tens. Four tens is 40, and we have three ones, so 43. Let's look at page 179. So we're going to keep going, practicing making one of the add-ins the next 10. 18 and 13. I don't care which one you make into the 10, the next 10. I'm going to choose the larger add-in. Okay, so I have 18. I need to take two ones to make the next 10. 18 plus 2 makes 20. How much do we have left? We have 10 and 1, 1, which is 11. 20, how many tens do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, and 1, 1. So we have 30, 1. 24 plus 18. I'm going to take two ones from 24 and give it to the 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. If I took two of the ones from 24, now I have 22 left. So 22, 32, 42. All I did was count forward from 22 to 10s. 22, 32, 42. 39 plus 19. Okay, now this one, they're exactly the same, right? All I have to do is add one to either one of those numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the 39 into the next 10 by taking 1 from 19. So now instead of 39, I have 40. I have four tens. And instead of 19, I have 18. Well, 40 plus the next 10 is 58. All right, write or draw to explain. Zach finds 38 sticks. Kelly finds 27 sticks. How many more sticks do the two children still need if they want 70 sticks in all? Okay, so we have 38 and we have 27. So the two of them, so let's go ahead and write out a picture. 38. and 27. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take two ones from 27. Give it to the 38, which gives me now 40 plus 25. 40 plus 25 is 65. We need to get to 70. So 65 is where we're at. 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. How many times did I count forward? One, two, three, four, five. So they need five more sticks. Okay, page 180. Solve by writing or drawing to explain. Making connections. The chart shows the leaves that Philip collected. Okay, so we see leaves collected. We have three different colors, green, brown, and yellow, and the number of each one of those colors. All right, he wants a collection of 52 leaves using only two colors. Which two colors of leaves should he use? <clears throat> so, Basically, what we need is to look at the ones column, and we need a ones column that gives me 12. How do I know that it has to be a sum of 12? Because look at the tens, 2, 2, 2. What's 2 plus 2? That would be four tens, right? So that means the sum of one of the of two of the ones has to give me another 10. All right, so is seven and nine 12? No, right? Nine, 10, 16. So that would be 56 here. 
Well, no, that's not right. How about 9 and 5? 9 and 5. No, that's 14. So these two would be 54. How about these two? 27 and 25. Let's try it. 20. 7. 25. All right, so let's see. We have to have, we have 27 plus 25. Let's take three of the ones from 25 to make 30 plus 22. What's 30 plus 22? 52. Okay. So, yes, green and yellow is what he should use. So I did some of this in my head, okay? I Like I said, I, I saw this and knew that I had to have a sum of 12, right? Because I knew that 40 plus 12 is 52. Well, I could add any of these tens to get 40, okay? So that wasn't the problem. It was the sum of 12. And so I looked at the ones and saw which two add-ins would give me a sum of 12. And it came up with green and yellow. Ava has 39 sheets of white paper. She has 22 sheets of green paper. Draw a picture and write to explain how to find the number of sheets of paper Ava has. Okay, so we know that she has 39 and 22. Okay, how do you show 39? Three tens and nine ones. How do you show 22? Two tens and two ones. So 39 plus 22. Now 39, all I have to do is add one to make that into the next 10. So instead of 39, let's say 40 plus what's left. Two tens is 20 plus one is 21. Well, 40 plus 21, 40, 40, 50, 60, one. And write to explain how the number of sheets of paper Ava has. So all I did was gave one of the ones the 39, which made the next 10 40, and that left me 40 plus 21, which was 61. Okay. All right. So that's the idea of compensation, where we use one of the add-ins ones to make another, the next 10 from the other add-in. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.